Hello, Odoers, and welcome. Social media has become an essential tool for businesses. Being on social media increases awareness, connects businesses with their customers, and boosts leads. However, just having the accounts and posting from time to time won't be enough. It's important to use them actively to find new customers and keep your followers engaged. Prospects can make assumptions about your company within seconds of viewing your website or social media pages, so it's key to have a good social media presence. In this lesson, we'll see how I can manage Stealthy Woods Facebook and Twitter accounts using Odoo's social marketing app. All right, here I am on my database. We want to be sure that we have the social marketing app installed, which I do. So let's go ahead and jump in. As soon as I click on social marketing, I'm going to have a dashboard view of my streams. And of course, I'm going to need to add an account and some streams in order to see anything. So let's do that right now. Okay, I'm going to add both my Facebook and Twitter accounts. So I'm going to click on add a stream. Okay, and then I have the choice to link a social media account. So let's go to Facebook. So I'm already logged in with Facebook. So it's going to ask me if I would like to continue with this account or if I want to log into another account. So I would like to continue as Stella would uh, with Stealthy Wood. Okay, and then I'm going to be redirected back to Odoo and I'm going to see that stream right away. Okay, so it's just as fast as that. So let's go ahead and do the same for Twitter. Okay, so I'm going to authorize the app here. Okay, redirect it back to Odoo. And just like that, I'm going to be able to see both my Facebook and Twitter streams. Okay, so far, that was so easy and it was so fast. And when I click on this add a stream button, I'm going to have the option to add a new account uh, with Facebook or Twitter or even add a stream from an existing account. Okay, so from our dashboard view, I'm going to see all of the things that I've already posted on these accounts. As you, I, as you have seen, I haven't posted anything from Odoo, from this database just yet, um, but I still have a history of everything and I can already comment on what already exists. Okay, so on this uh, post, for example, on Facebook, I can say, uh, this is the best post ever. I'm going to click enter to post. Okay, and then I can even like my own comment. Okay, and I'll be able to see that on Facebook right away. So if we go to Facebook, refresh the page. Okay, we're going to have that comment. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to that last post that we have or the most recent post. And I have that comment right here. Okay, so it's super quick. So let's go back to Odoo. Now, on from our dash, we also can see some KPIs. So at the top here, uh, we're going to be able to see the audience. Um, we'll be able to see the engagement and also the stories um, related um, to our accounts. Okay, so we have all that information here, but we can have even more information if we click on the Insights button. So let's do this for Facebook. If we click on this button, we're going to be redirected to the Insights page on Facebook and we'll have extra information. Okay, so that's super useful. But let's go back to Odoo. All right, so we've seen the basics of our dashboard here, but let's go ahead and create a new post. So I'm simply going to click on new post. Okay, when I do that, I'm going to be able to create my post, of course, and decide where it should be posted. So let's say it will be posted both on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, and then I need to add my message. So I'll say uh, level up your space with some finishing details, dot, 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 homemade furniture. And then of course I wanna add some hashtags. So let's go ahead and say hashtag SW for stealthy wood, hashtag, whoops, wrong symbol, hashtag uh, furniture, hashtag comfort. Okay, so that looks good for now. On the right, we're gonna have a preview of what it will look like. So of course, if I have only one selected, I will only see the preview for that account. Okay, well, let's go ahead and stick with both of them. All right, and I'm going to attach an image. Okay, so let's go to downloads. We're going to add this image right here. 
Okay, and that's going to be added to our preview. So we really will have a good idea of what it's going to look like on our stream or on our social media site. Okay, we can choose a campaign if we would like to, which I won't. And then we can also decide when it will be posted. Okay, so if we want to send it now, if we want to schedule at a later date, and I can always select that date. Okay, if I have a schedule later, I'm going to see the schedule button here. And that will move the stage from draft to schedule. And if I send now, instead of scheduled, I'm going to see post, which will move the stage from draft to posted. But I can always save it when it's in draft. Perhaps uh, I know that I want to make a post on Stealthy Wood with this image, but I haven't written the description yet. Or perhaps I need my manager to review it before I schedule it or post it. Okay, I do have that option. Okay, but let's go ahead and post this. All right, so I'm going to click on post. And once I've done that, we're again going to see that uh, stage change from draft to posted. And then we're also going to be able to jump to our feed and check out what we just posted. Okay, so as soon as it's posted here, let's go to our feed. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page. And once I refresh the page, I'm going to see those two new posts, okay, or the new posts that I um, posted on two different accounts. All right, so I have that right here. And more importantly, I'm going to see it right away on those social media accounts as well, since I did post it immediately. So I'm just refreshing the page. And boom, just like that, I have my post. Okay, so I was able to do everything from Odoo, so I won't have to um, log into each social media site. I will be able to manage everything from here. But we have another way to manage posts as well, not just from our dashboard, from our feed here, but I can also go to my posts and I can check out the posts by status or by social account. Okay, so I can see what I've posted on Facebook specifically. Um, I can check out all of my posts, not just those in a particular status. Okay, I can um, look at what's in draft. I don't have any yet. I can create a new one from this page. Okay, um, and I can check out, let's say, what's posted, which is the post I just made. So that's really convenient, especially let's say we have some um, that are in drafts who say, oops, I need to finish this and go ahead and schedule it or post it right now. Um, so that's really cool. But we also have this awesome calendar view. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to see everything that is posted or scheduled. Okay, I will have the status right here. So for example, I see uh, my post, level up your space, dot, dot, dot. Okay, I'm gonna see the message when it was posted as well. I can edit this or delete it. All right, and I will be able to create a new post from the calendar view as well. So let's say on the 11th, I want to create a new post. Let's say this is my new post. Okay, and then I can save this. It's in draft. We're going to go back. Okay, I'm going to see that I have one in draft. Okay, let's refresh the page so we can be sure it will show up. Okay, and I have it just, I have it right here, just like that. Okay, I don't have to see the items that are in draft. I can remove this and same with posted. So I can only see, um, I can have this calendar view with posts from a specific status, which is really convenient. All right, but now what we're gonna do is actually go to the um, post we have already done, which is confirmed, it's posted, it's on our accounts. And we're gonna have some smart buttons on this post as well. Okay, so uh, for example, here I have leads. So our users who have filled out my contact form from the post tracked link. And we'll see more about that in another video. So be sure you check it out. We have a revenue. Um, so our users who have finished their transaction, they've actually paid. Um, we have quotations, which are users who have started a transaction but haven't paid yet. And then we have clicks. So the number of link clicks. Okay, some of these, for some of these smart buttons, you will have to have additional modules. Um, so for example, for revenue and quotations, you'll need um, invoicing and sales. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right, but we can have uh, that information from the post itself, um, which is really important. Okay, now if we would like to add a new account, we don't have to do that from our dashboard. We can also go to configuration, social media, and add some accounts here as well. Um, so as you can see, managing your social media accounts or your social marketing is so easy with Odoo. Okay, we did all of that in just a matter of minutes.
That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.